CVTV from the CVX Expo 23 showroom floor, Talking Stick Resort, Scottsdale, Arizona. It's been beautiful. It's been amazing. And we're going to close it out with a really good one right now. Uh, you know, CVX is all about establishing partnerships and, and uh, working with one another. Well, we have a tremendous partnership illustrated right in front of us. Uh, from Soracom, we have Justin Stipe. He is a shiny, happy person, by the way. Uh, he is the sales engineer with Soracom. Uh, we also have Tem Wu. Tem is the SVP, Mobility and IoT for Abundant IoT. How you gentlemen doing? All at once. Hey, awesome. We're doing excellent. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, so let's uh, let's start out with this alliance. Tim, I guess I'll kick it to you. How has this uh, partnership been for you guys? I mean, it's been really, really awesome because you know we're always looking what we can bring to to the partners, right? And in the, in the form of new technology that can help them find different type of customers that are trying to scale into the IoT world. So when we came across Soracom, you know, we, we actually knew somebody, Mike Simmons, from there before. And he came to say, hey, look, I'm at a company that's pretty awesome here, so I want you to check it out. So once we started to see what they could do, I mean, we were really amazed. So we, we can really see this house is going to drive the IoT adoption to a different different level. Okay, fantastic. Now, uh, Justin, Hello. Soracom. Yes, sir. Tell us about the company. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Soracom is essentially an MVNO. Uh, we're a little bit different in the space because our traffic and data tend to flow through AWS mm -hmm. uh, before it hits the open internet. So there's a lot we can do from the uh, data level as well, as well as the network level before it ever traverses over the internet. So a lot of customization, a lot of cool new features that we can kind of implement into your network that's a little bit different than what you've done traditionally. Cool. And we'll talk about some of those innovations for sure. Uh, let me ask you, what are some differentiators from the other guys that are out there? Yeah, absolutely. Again, the architecture is the biggest one. So traditionally on a standard network, everything's flowing through like a Verizon or an AT&T and T-Mobile. You get a dynamically routed IP address and you're sent off to the network and that's pretty much all you have, right? So with us, before it hits the network, it goes into AWS. And so we can do things like add encryption to the packets to maybe save data and computational uh, levels at the edge. Yeah. Do some things like uh, emulate a private APN. So if you're saying, hey, I want to go to the carriers and get a private APN, but it's a lot of work, we can set it up in as little as 15 minutes and have intranet capabilities so that you can say, hey, I want bi-directional communication back and forth. Let's set that up for you. And now you're routing internally from your back end, whether that's in AWS, Azure, or Azure, your own pro proprietary internet, back into our infrastructure, and it's quite easy to set up and do. Very smart, for sure. Uh, let's talk about some of the platform features. Yeah, absolutely. So from the start, again, the, the networking is a, a pretty big uh, bonus. Uh, without having to do that, we can also lift the veil on that firewall to get back in on the network and have on-demand remote access. That's a pretty popular one. Again, the encryption at the edge, saying, hey, let's offload the computational cycles from your edge device and maybe save battery life or clock cycles or even go a little bit skinnier on the hardware to save money. Mm -hmm. And again, with uh, the ways that we monitor the platform, give you control over the life cycle of the SIM card, for manufacturing purposes, you can test at the facility, but then maybe put them in a dormant state while they ship over here yeah. so that you're not constantly getting that activation fee that's currently on those SIM cards. And those activation keys are uh, brutal. <laughs> exactly. They make you kind of sore. Uh, no, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> Forget that. Uh, so let's talk coverage and availability. I know that that's been a huge thing for you guys. Yeah, what's really nice about Soracom is uh, we have what's called a subscription container service or it's a multi mz SIM card. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, we can offer all three major carriers in the United States on a single SIM card on a single APN as well as globally, we offer 160 different countries worth of connectivity over 200 plus carriers. Wow, that's impressive. That certainly is. Uh, I'm going to ask each of you guys the same question here to kind of close it out. Sure. As we look forward into 2024, what sort of things can we expect? Uh, well, we just got a new base plan, Plan US, that offers 5G on our SIM cards as well. So just expanding coverage and capabilities of the platform are definitely our biggest strides forward coming up the uh, the 2024 year. Okay, and Tim? You know, I think the biggest thing we're going to see is the new sensors are becoming smaller and smaller. So the need for an eSIM, this embedded SIM, that's going to become really big because they no longer can hold this actual plastic SIM card. So with Soracom having that eSIM capability, a manufacturer developer can actually get that piece and put it into their sensor 
and then test it out so we can really reduce the size of sensors. I think that's what's going to what's going to happen. Okay, great. And uh, if people want more information, Justin, yeah, our website is uh, sorcom.io. Fairly simple. Just punch that into Google. We're pretty easy to find. Okay, and you as well, Tim. Yeah, uh, abundantiot.com. There you have it. Nice and simple. Be sure to check out the websites. And uh, thanks for the time, yeah, Justin. No problem. Thank, right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, again, CVTV live from the CVX Expo 23 showroom floor. CVTV. Everybody take care.